that a Craig? Maybe. Not my boy Craig. Hey Craig, what's up, man? What's Today I'm up? feeling in a good mood. Let's call him your boy. My boy. Yeah, it's his boy Craigy Craig. Dude, last week you were like, "Fuck you, Craig." And oh, it's still fuck Craig, I but I'm okay with like, him now. Wow. Ish. Why? 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 Because I'm depressed, so I start liking AI. Help me. What? I am uh, concerned for your health. I mean, oh, isn't everyone concerned for my health? <laughs> have, you, have you heard what's been? Have you heard what's happened to me in my life? There's a lot to be concerned about. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing concerning in these times ever. Like it's everything's so peaceful. <laughs> Everything is fine, smiley face. Upside down, smiley face. Oh wait, we oh we didn't we we have enough sarcasm in the statement. I see. Exactly. I guess that means I should stop playing games so I can talk to people, right? Uh... Socialism. I mean socialization. <laughs> I have pizza, and I'm dipping it in blue cheese. Ooh, fancy and cream cheese. Oh. Cream cheese? No, he said blue cheese. Oh, they're always oh, a blue. I, heard cream cream I was about to compliment you on your creativity. Now, fuck you. It's the same. This is just the same old basic bitch stuff. How is that basic? Nobody does this in blue cheese. Nobody dips their pizza in the blue cheese dressing they give you for wings. Okay, blue I was gonna say I, I ranch, and it's not that far off. I don't know. I have it's something here. you put on a salad. It's kind of similar. <laughs> Salads and pizzas are the same. We just uh, take a salad with some croutons, lots of cheese. You mean croutons? Some pepperoni. What? Croutons. Croutons? Croutons. You, you made me almost choke. Croutons. <laughs> I have literally never heard croutons in You've my life. You've never heard croutons before? No, I haven't. Oh. I've heard croutons before. I'm like, what the hell is a crouton? Please teach me. <laughs> what is this crouton you speak of? It's like a cretin, but a breaded cretin. It reminds me of sauerkraut. I know. Ew. Yeah, I... I don't know, man. Anyways, welcome back to the PGRC. Is we didn't get is? to a point where people were silenced, though. We can't just introduce ourselves until there's genuine confusion. I feel like this is already lots of confusion. That's fair. Hi, guys. I mean, this, this I'm so confused. Podcast is, this podcast is constantly confusion, so you know. <coughs> Pretty sure that's just what this podcast is at this point. I don't think there's any other way to put it. Yeah. 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 So I, how you guys doing? I'm doing all right. I'm the beekeeper. Nope, nice. I've been playing too much Terraria. I've been playing none. Not enough Terraria? Any. I wanna I wanna play some with you guys, but you guys are all on when I'm doing other shit. I mean we're on tonight and oh yeah, you were playing D and D. I didn't have a choice. You do, you could say I no, Gamma. How does what? I have no idea. What did, did some words come out of your mouth? Because I don't know what that was. <laughs> I said you could say no, Gamma. I, you can say, and then you keep cutting out. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. You can say no, Gamma. I don't know what's going on anymore. That time I cut myself. <laughs> In audio. Mm. Okay. Sure. I don't see any. Peace. I don't think I've ever, yeah, I've never touched Terraria. I played it back when it first came out. It's okay for a bit. I have a, a series on my old channel. The one that oh, dear. About. Yo, can Ooh. we get a link to that channel and all the videos to be made public, please? Um, <laughs> they're all public, mostly, except for that really old podcast that I'm not allowed to share. True. Because of reasons. Not allowed? Some people on it don't want it to get out, and I'm not going to it out. Uh, Gamma's fair. one of them. I am one of them, yeah, actually. <laughs> mm. 
Gamma basically said if it's released, he would have to go to like some kind of special jail for spe- for like special jailers. No, but I'm pretty sure. Special I jail. Wait, what? You know, canceled. Oh, oh yes. you'll get canceled. Cancel culture. Yeah. That's no, the thing. thing. That's the thing that happens now. What's that? What's that new thing that's getting canceled? Um. Huh? Oh, using your own emotes in other people's channel. Oh, don't even get me fucking started on that. Has not that always been a thing that people... Well, I guess with the rise of cancel culture, it's more... I think it gets more catch with the rise of cancel culture. Yeah. Twitch pissing me off recently. I was actually looking at a... Uh, I was scrolling down Twitter earlier, and I, I kept seeing tweets like that. And then after that, I immediately saw a tweet that was... You remember that one streamer who was like, you guys can't afford five fucking dollars to subscribe to me? Am I working oh, for that's free? Whatever. Oh and my then, god. No, no, no. But I got the biggest fucking whiplash because they put that together with a clip from another person's stream. This really fucking nice dude who's, he's, he, uh, okay, so what he does is he streams himself carving intricate things into wood. Yes. And it's really fucking cool. Mm-hmm. So it whiplashes to a clip from him where he's literally like, no, no, is there a way I can get the money? I don't want to take money from you guys, right? It's, you know, this whole thing going on. Is there a way I can refund you guys your subscription? Because somebody gifted him, like, ten subscriptions. Okay. The whiplash between that fucking... I, I still feel it. Just seeing, like, one thing and then, the, like, the polar opposite immediately the, after. Yeah, literally. Just exactly the opposite. I don't know. I thought I, I thought she's legit. Is she sarcastic about it? I thought she's sarcastic. Oh god, about it. no! It wasn't her. It was somebody else. Like she was serious about that, and she still is. Oh okay. And then it like it was the clips were mashed together. Like the they showed her right. and then it showed him saying that. Oh ah. no, no, no! You know, it's just a clip from him randomly in the stream. Somebody gets him the subs, and he's like, "No, no, please don't! You don't need to do subs. I do this. You can watch this for free." You know. I didn't expect that to actually be serious from him. No, he's 100 percent serious. Oh no, her it's serious. Oh god, you should see the fucking entitlement. <laughs> There's streamers like that. You would, you would. Oh, I know. Yeah, no, she was one of them. Actually, there was a very interesting case that was br- that was shown, where uh, what is it? A famous Instagram person. She basically said she needs to hit 500 subs before she decides to make a schedule. Hmm. Excuse me, what? Well, the funny thing is, I can't remember what she's famous from. So take this with absolute, like, just bare bones. But I find I, I, I find it very interesting when people just easily jump on it. Because whenever it comes to money, whenever it comes to people making money, there's always issues, right? People are always like selling out and stuff. This stuff at the moment, like, you know, with uh, Joe Rogan moving over to exclusively Spotify. Oh, oh, that's what happened. I didn't know that was what happened. I just knew that something was going on. One hundred million dollar deal. Damn. Yeah. And. The reason is, apparently, uh, this is, again, just I've read very little, but supposedly they're trying some new video cast for Spotify. So you can actually do video recording directly on Spotify. So it's basically going to be YouTube, but just Spotify. Oh, So you can like basically do the exact podcast? same show. Yeah, for podcasts. So you can do the exact same show just on Spotify instead of YouTube because you get paid $100 million to do it to test, Damn, out, that, to test out that feature. So if that's true, people were like, Oh my god, what a sellout, dropping his YouTube community just to follow the money. And I'm sitting there going, if someone pays me $100 million, if I have to give my cat up for adoption, I'm paying $100 million. I'm getting taken $100 million, let's go. Like, well, it's well, not necessarily my cat. that that we were focusing on. Like, it, it's more the, the entitlement. Like, when it comes to that stuff, but you know, yeah. you know how Ninja did his deal with going over to Mixer and then a bunch of other people? Yeah. Did. I get but that, that's fine. You're getting paid to do it, you do it. You know, I was I was going to link it, Gamma. You didn't let me link it. Link it, motherfucker. So this one person who said she's waiting for 500 subs again, I don't know if she's serious or not. But if you were to say that as a serious person, the reason why she would say that is because she has a lot of other deals that she's already doing. Right. She's got a lot of business that she's doing. So it wouldn't actually be worth it for her 
to make that a part of her business if she wasn't actually getting that support. Now, whether or not you think she said the 500 like non vindictively or whatever is I, I again, I don't remember, but I just found it interesting because that one person who does say it seriously is really funny because, yeah, that is just entitlement. But there are cases where. Like, I mean, I wouldn't stream if I wasn't trying to make money from it or if I wasn't making anything from it. Right. I'm not expecting like 100 a month, but. You know, it's it's a lot of time invested, and it's a it's a job to me. So yeah, I, get, I get that. It, like I said, it's more just the entitlement and like literally trying to guilt your viewers into subbing and stuff. And then the weird thing, but then the weird thing is with the people complaining about the subs because I've I've had it before. People have told me not to use their my emotes in their channel because not for, like they they just said it's like it's rude, and I go, no, it's not. What's 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 I I mean it's each their own right like I've been in channels that they've like banned specific e even global emotes I I found a person who they banned Kappa have I talked mm -hmm. about this before no nope. no okay I found it I found a Twitch stream that banned Kappa and the reason was they said if you have to speak in sarcasm that's not effective communication and we don't want that here and I mean I respect that I think it's stupid. I never went back. I thought it was very dumb, but that and the content wasn't really my favorite. I was just kind of scrolling around when I was searching to see what else I could uh, watch one night. But I mean, it's like it, it's it's existed for quite some time, and I've never quite understood it. And I think whatever it comes up to the conversation of people talking about support and 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 you know business semantics and all this other stuff, it just gets super muddled by the fact that people instantly just focus on profit. They don't focus on like anything else <laughs> like you know the point of twitch literally lives off emotes and you know yeah, it's a site feature I... like you're, it's specific it's not yeah you shouldn't be getting upset excuse me that people are um using a feature of the site yeah that they pay for just because they, they didn't pay it. you for it yeah just because you didn't get the money I mean, I can't afford other people's subs. Exactly. Sorry. No, that's fine. But you're not going to go around like if somebody comes into your chat and drops fucking uh, raspberry love. You know, you're not going to get mad at that. You're not going to tell Dude, them off. Raspberry is so useful. Ra no, raspberry is so useful. Because <laughs> no, it yeah, can also exactly. be used as a squint. And you could just like make it stare like a block of cheese, and it's just it's just like this. Just, it's just Toby. Uh, what's this? Oh, I'm so sorry, Theo. Theo the tiger yeah. staring at it, going like, "The fuck is this cheese, man?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it's useful. Very useful. One of the better emotes I've ever gotten. See right there. That's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be like, "Oh yeah, this other creator's got cool emotes. I like those emotes. Cool, awesome. Feel free to use them. There's no reason you shouldn't." I think yeah, the no. problem that a lot of people have stems from the, the owners of channels using their own emotes in other people's channels because it's seen as self-advertising. Yes. yes, it's the self-advertising issue. Fuck that. Who cares? I go around I mean, dropping home a game of Smug every day. I don't give yeah. a fuck. Another it's very like useful emote, to, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I'm going around to say, oh yeah, you guys should come look at my stream, Amma Game Smug. Mm -hmm. but, you know, like, it, I get, like, it can be seen that way, but that's not the case. It's not like people are coming into your chat to steal your viewers with a fucking email. It shouldn't be seen that way, you're right, yeah. It shouldn't be, and that's the thing. It's an entitlement thing. It's also fucking just misconstruing, I don't know. I don't, I don't I think know. it's an entitlement <laughs> thing, man. I don't think it's an entitlement. I, 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 I think it's thinking people the other still, thing. I think it's just people who are really still upset that you know, they think that every single piece of you talking about your job when they're doing the same job is taking away from their chances of succeeding. It's an insecurity thing to me. Just like always, anything whenever it comes up in that conversation. Man, was that you know what? Oh, oh, I was going to say that it's like, I don't know if it's necessarily an insecurity thing, and yes, that could be part of it, but just in general, the idea of like that, like by posting your own emotes in someone else's channel you have some sort of malicious intent or like i don't know i see the word cringy used a lot like it's really cringy yes. people just don't like seeing it yes you know what's cringy when you motherfuckers come into my chat and drop an ass emote and i'm like that's fucking cringy 
that's fucking gross. Like when you when you got a guy's face doing an orgasm face and you shove an ass right next to him, like what the fuck is that, man? <laughs> you know that's what? cringy. I figured out a way to explain this that I, I oh, no. been... hmm? All right, so picture emotes are pizza. Okay. 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 Totally not related to what he's eating right now. You got you got Pizza Hut and you got Domino's. Are you going to be mad when somebody from fucking Domino's orders Pizza Hut? Are you going to be like, that's fucking, mm, I don't, that's not wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is this like when people walk into a Tim Hortons with a Subway sandwich and they're like, get it, out? Because I've been told that before. Exactly. That's fucking stupid. I hate that. I oh hate that. Goodness. Where they're like, you can't eat at our table because you're not eating our food. I'm like, what does that even mean? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you right what now. What's supposed to mean? <laughs> this, this imaginary situation is actually a thing that fucking happened. And you want to know something about the people who fucking made the pizza and took the pizza? They didn't fucking care because it's not a fucking big deal that they're getting a different type of p- person's pizza, like a different emote. Like what? <laughs> you catch oh, no, my, okay. my cold? You see, you see what I'm going at? I mean, we're on the same page, so yes, I've yeah, already okay. got your cold. And in fact, I'm lifelong infected with it because our colds are so synced. We're coldsies. We're cold we're, BF, we're, we're, we're BCFs. Did Best you say Best sickos did, forever. Did, did you say cold or cult? Cold that could have gone like cold 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 no, okay. we're not we're not part of a cult, Raz. <laughs> I was about to I say, mean, are you is there something that you guys are hiding from me? You know? Yes, you joined a cult know. and you didn't know it. Oh oh yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Surprise, Colt. <laughs> Surprise, Colt. Surprise. Those are my favorite. When you just join something, you have no idea it's happening. Surprise, you're in a cult. You were just sitting on your couch two seconds ago. <laughs> now you're a cult. Part it just cult. sounds like the cult of Shia Surprise. Surprise. Watch your TV. Oh, man. He's behind your TV. Shia LaBeouf. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I forgot that video was a thing. What's that? I forgot that video was a thing. I still can't believe that exists. I I don't know why. <laughs> what a what a weird phase that was. I think the person who showed me that video was World Leader. Oh God! Actually, yeah. Thanks, World Leader. Like back in high school. Damn, damn! I was in damn. high school. Wait, I was in university for that then. Shia LaBeouf was university. No. Yeah. Dude, uh, Rebecca Black for me was in high school. Just that just to date myself. I was in middle school. Yeah, I think yeah. I was I was either in middle school or elementary school. Yeah. Just just to just to put a just to put like, a date stamp on this. If, that was my Ga- high school. Yeah. Yeah, if Gamma was in middle school, I had to be in elementary school at the time. Definitely. That Jeez. and the plethora of Kim Jong il memes. Holy shit. I, oh. I, I didn't know about any of those. I was a oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was a high. I'm pretty sure it was a high school thing because I never. My sister was always in elementary when I was in high. Like we're five years apart, so I would always leave one and she would go into. It should go into it fresh, so we'd always like be able to keep up with all the trends. It wasn't called memes back then; it was called trends or whatever or jokes. Maymays. Yeah, all the friggin' Kim Jong, not un King Jong Il memes, and like all of our, mm-hmm. all of our, like they take pictures of my friends who are actually Korean and they're just like sticking his face because he's like a super jack guy, so they like, put. Kim Jong Il's face over the super like six two two hundred and ninety pound uh, Jack Korean guy is like okay <laughs> I don't know why this they got posted all over the school I don't know why what that's awkward because why are you would want to but why would you want to mess with a guy who can literally rip you in two like that's not how you troll you troll the weak ones like us or I guess me but like you troll the people who you can pick on you don't pick on the guy who can like snap you like a twig. That just Did doesn't make any back? sense. Did he fight back? Oh, he, he clocked the guy down the stairs. All right, it was good. glorious. I was there. Damn. <laughs> I wish I could have. I would have bought tickets. Because we were walking up from lunch, I think, and then one of the posters was over the doors, and, and one of the guys that had posted up started laughing at him through a door. Dude just fucking ripped him into a... Into a um, he picked him up by the chest, because they're both tall, but the guy was lanky. He's super huge. He just picked him up by the chest of his uh, sweater vest, because Catholic school 
and just like mm-hmm. slammed him into the lock, just gave him a shot in the chest, and then we had to break him up because he's about to like shatter his rib cage. But uh, oh god, not condoning the troll or the uh, the violas, but it was it was like a oh. <laughs> I mean that that dude Damn. had it coming. He, yeah, he yeah. I mean, it. he clearly didn't think it was gonna happen. I'm like, okay, you're just another high school kid, <laughs> I guess. I mean, honestly, that could be considered a hate crime at this point. I'm, I, I mean, I'm just saying. I don't know, but just potentially, saying. yeah, probably. Oh. In 2005, I don't know if they I'm saying it now it would be. Back oh, then absolutely. It would be. Can't do but that to go back to it, they're emotes. They're just emotes. Yeah. Are we Don't... having? Wait. Are... Wait, Gamma. What? Are we having a? Pol... Are we having a mature political conversation on the PGRC? Get your fucking emotes out of my stream, you fucking <laughs> tool. What? What? I'm not allowed... your... are you Stop trying to steal my fucking viewers. Oh well, that's too late. You're mine. Your, 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 your viewers are my viewers now. <laughs> Why won't they fucking subscribe to me? It's been ten minutes and I haven't had a fucking sub yet. God damn Do you it. think I work for free? I gave us credit, Gamma. I don't know who you were talking about. Now we're no better. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that hurt my soul. No kidding. I, I didn't real. I didn't realize what beating slime would do to me. Literal just slime. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, it's okay, you just gotta shake it out. I didn't <clears throat> Fair, I'm shooting pieces of slimes right now. I'm watching a slug get beat up inside the spire. That's that's very thematic for everything I'm doing right now. <laughs> well, of course, focusing and talking to the podcast. I feel if like I ever... slugs just follow you everywhere. Slug life is the life for Raz. For you? Or for for me or for you? For you. Wait, for isn't it for you? No, it's for you. you... You draw them all the time in okay, scribble. But that's and just because I worship your life. And- your life inspires me to draw <laughs> slugs. <laughs> draw is a very loose term. <laughs> hey, shut the fuck up. I, I'm I, I try, man, okay? I know, I'm sorry. I had, I had we, to, we all have right. different gifts. <laughs> Mine is definitely not in the visual arts. I'm not much better. Same. At least you can draw shape. The only noob, thing I got I on you to... is drawing a circle. <laughs> Wait, noob, can you not draw draw a circle? I mean, I'm not asking for like a perfect circle, but like just an ellipse of some sort. Can you I do can, it? I can circle things, but sometimes I'll miss, or sometimes it'll just be I don't give a shit. So that's fair. Know, it's, mm-hmm. it's just the way it is. Yeah. C- can you draw a rhombus? Yes, because I know what that is. <laughs> all right, he's not on me. I don't. I don't remember. All right, all right, Cedar Rapids. You just look it up on the internet. It's not that hard to cheat at it. Yeah, but then I'd have to type it out, and that's a lot of words. Oh, thank God I did get it right. Okay, Wait, a lot, a lot. <laughs> oh my God, it's just, yeah, just like one more word, and you tilted it a little. Oh, I, I, oh. I learned to draw it as just two sets of parallel lines. That's how I learned to draw it. Um. Uh. Hmm. Which it, it that's what a rhombus is, so it's not yeah. it's easy for me to follow because that's the type of that's the type of uh, direction and instruction I learned from. Wait, are squares not two sets of parallel lines? I was about to say, yeah. No, they're well, they technically are. Oh, just depend well, on like the way you look at it, like. I I think squares. I think lines? of squares. Well, or... no, I think of I think of it as uh, as just four right angles. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Two triangles. What? Two right triangles. That's that another way. Oh, that is, squ- that is another way, yes. Mm-hmm. It's like or when you make a sandwich. Or four equilateral triangles. Whoa! I'm having calculus war flashbacks. <laughs> oh, no! Why are you I'm at war sorry. with calculus? Who goes to war against calculus? Because calculus fucking sucks. A lot of sucks. people. People have to take it as a GE and then never have to use it in their careers because it's irrelevant. Yeah, I'm not one of those. I have to take Calc 2 at some point as well. Oh. And then 3 for fun. Invisible Uh, numbers, my fucking ass. (laughs) At my college, we have two levels of calculus Mm -hmm. uh, that you have to take to clear a GE. And the Mm -hmm. second level 
is the most failed GE in the entire school. Well, that's reassuring. It's uh, it's that. not good. It's not good. Mm-hmm. It doesn't help that the professors are very hit or miss. Also, mm-hmm. it's, it's it's a lot. I feel that. Yeah, but it's okay. It's it's behind me now. I don't have to deal with it anymore. It's in front of me, and I want to cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I dodged it by a year. Oh man, I I can't. I can. What are we doing? Where were we? The boogie. Uh. Your nose. No, the book, the dance, not the, not, not the bogey. <laughs> they're the same word in English. I don't know. No, they're not. Boogie and bogey are different. No, bogey is in golf. Boogie is in dance. No, bogey's in the military. What? Like there's a bogey It's also in golf. Dance. But it's cooler when you talk about the military. Yeah, but stop picking your nose. I'm not picking my nose in front of you, anyways. Just because uh, I can't see doesn't mean you're not doing it. <laughs> All right, and that was my skit of trying to make new pretend he was picking his nose. All right, on to the next bit. <laughs> nice. Wait, you have bits for it now? You have you have plans for today? What are you talking about? This is every time. It's, oh, thank God. Okay. I, I think it, it's basically SNL. I think of a bit on the spot, and then I I try to I try to. Uh, what's the term? What's the term? Oh God! Um, you tried it. Impro- no, not improvised. Improv? Is it not improv? improv? It's improv. Yeah. Impro- improv. Improv is improv- totally. Improv- yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. It's just shorter. Yeah. Improv. You were there yeah. on stream when I said they kicked me off the team, right? I was the only guy to get kicked off. What? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. I didn't hear I the s- story. I tried to uh, sign up for grade nine improv or I was trying to sign up for the high school improv team. And I didn't know that um, like quote unquote canceling a, sk- a skit or saying no in a skit is a bad thing. So I made that one mistake. And they're like, yeah, you're gone. That was it. Like I or fucked they, up once and that was it. I mean, they could have just told, told you, you know, mm-hmm. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, but they had a full, they, they basically had, a, a good enough team, and they they like just removed me. I'm like, okay, that's uh, cool. They they literally could have just told you and not booted you. That's they could have t- they could have taught me. And I mean, I won at the question game, speaking only in questions. I actually won at that one. Nobody was able to budge me. So, hmm. I I that also is attuned to the fact that I ask a bazillion questions. So <laughs> I guess it's just in my nature. But uh, I got but yeah. No, that was a sad day because I I love improv. If you can't tell from streams or oh. just this, improv's fun, right? Just yeah. you think up random stuff on the spot and you just you roll with it, and you could still be negative and and twisted around because I'm not in a you know improv competition, but uh, yet another thing to crush moods and aspirations of being in drama. Woo! I got you. Thanks, high school. Fuck high school. Are you the same as me where you don't think high school is the greatest thing in the, in, in your entire education career? I high mean, school is not the greatest thing in your entire education career. I went Wait, the who says that? Year. Everyone who that I know that? loved high school. And I'm like, Why? I hate it. I loved university. Screw mm-hmm. high school. Like, forget that. High school sucked. And not just because I was bullied and all that other stuff. I'm just like, high school actually just sucked. High school was useless. And I'm a high I school teacher. Hey, 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 hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no. no, no, let me, let me, let me just give you a little thing real quick. <clears throat> so I went to high school for what I would say at, added up to about one year's worth. Uh, my friends can tell you I was always sick, so I wouldn't make it to school. And I tried doing online classes, but it didn't work out for me. So then four years finally passed, and I'm starting to feel better. And I want to go to college. So I, t- I get my GED, and then I get into college. I, I, I literally didn't even have to go to high school. 
I just went straight to college. Yeah. High school is most certainly a stepping stone towards what you're trying to achieve in the future, but it's, it's most certainly not like it's, it's, it's good, but it isn't. I kind of wish you would just go up into high school quicker. Mm -hmm. Spend so much time in elementary school when it's like you're wasting all this time. And now they're, now they're teenagers and they don't care where to go. (laughs) Good, good timing there, boys. (laughs) Yep. Yeah. But then again, I also think the education, the elementary system is an absolute flop and needs to be. I mean, it's it's getting better now with what I see with my sister and her teaching strategies and what they learn. But it does not instill hope into me. And then high school just needs younger teachers. That's all. Literally, that's the way I think about it. I honestly would know. My, my school was private, so I went to private school. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, they, they had OK teachers. Yeah. It was all easy until, like, fifth grade. And then they started doing math. Dun, dun, dun. They're like, hey, this is calculus. I'm like, wait, what? Hold the fucking brakes. What? Fifth grade. Wait, calculus in fifth grade? Hold on. Well, they they weren't teaching us calculus. They were telling us a little bit about it. Then I'm like, Uh all right, great. Cool. Hence the reason. I, I use my calculator every day. Yep. Oh, man, that was fucking weird. What stories do we have still, by the way? I've been meaning to ask. Uh, Jesus is my homeboy. No, never mind, I take it back. <laughs> uh, let me see. Can't One day, man. What is it going to yeah. take? Episode 100. We're on 12, we're getting there. <laughs> Where's... A little See you guys over in a year and a half. We're a twelfth of the way there. <laughs> Woo! Good math. Poggers. Hey. <laughs> uh, the so, Guild of Dungeoneering story is still sitting here. Which one was I that? Trick room trials? Was that the trick room trials? Uh, heartbreak. I don't know what that's supposed yeah. to mean. But you those know. trick room we, trials. We could talk about noobs board game that we played. A little bit. I mean, I just observed, but yeah. You could talk about what you observed. I uh, yeah. What, what did you that? observe, Raz? I observed someone almost giving up halfway through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't I, that wasn't the greatest shiny moment. <laughs> sorry, it worked out in the end. Mm-hmm. I won. <laughs> hey. Look, okay. I know, can, I know. Can I defend the character though? I I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not. What's the term? I'm not. Right. Uh, what's the term? I'm not belittling the character. I'm just saying there you is can't some... something so busted. Yeah. <laughs> He's busted. Like here's the thing. Like, this is the, this is what I thought about. Mm-hmm. There is an element of the game that you guys like. You guys play differently from the way the game generally would be played by certain people, right? Mm -hmm. So it looks different in terms of the power levels. In actual fact, okay, so for those who don't know, the board game that I made or that I am making is a tactics MOBA board game. It's designed to be a battle arena. Everyone has their own character with certain attacks. You build up strength by getting mana and and the like, and you um, just go to town with it. So... One of the characters that Gamma was playing was a very aggressive character that wants to be low health in order to gain his best effectiveness. So when everyone was playing super slowly, it actually gave his character a lot of good time to grind up on top of the fact that he got a lot of really good lucky movement rolls, which let him get stronger faster, right? Mm-hmm. So... In actual fact, if many people had actually done what you guys did to Suwako, um, you could have lost really hard. I truly believe that. I get you. <clears throat> oh, it was That's a fun just... time. It was a fun time. Yeah. Have fun. Can't wait to play more at mm-hmm. some point. And then who knows what happens in the future. Does it have a pending title yet? Uh, it does. 
but I'm not saying it. Yeah. Why not? Copyright. Because I'm... I know it's project, like, but... project and then something generic. Oh, I did. Oh. Oh, I it's called, called it project. project yeah, I, I know. I called it Project Alpha Era. Oh, nice. It's significant. <laughs> so cool. Makes it sound like a flight simulator, but I mean, hey, you know what? Whatever works. I mean, hey, it works. Yeah. yeah. Also, I spent, I think, the last 30 minutes setting up my mic arm <laughs> casually oh, in the background. I feel that. Wait, playing or during this podcast or while, while we were playing? No, like right now. Because. Oh, what the? Yeah. Um, so I have a Blue Yeti because I've had it for years. Yeah. And it's just what I have. Um, but I was using like the regular stand because I didn't really have i didn't really think that i had a place to set up my mic arm and right. now that i have that i discovered hey i'm sitting right next to a windowsill so i'm just gonna attach my mic arm to this windowsill see that's the big brain place and it works it's stable that is pretty big brain fine. so now i don't have to worry about typing and just going what the that was inside my head. What did you sorry. do? <laughs> like you, you know when you know when you're typing, and you can hear the keyboard, and it's like oh, moving. that's that's my entire existence. <laughs> that's everything. <laughs> but like you can like hear like the the vibrations from the keyboard or whatever. Oh, like the tapping, but it's not like again my entire like existence. Bassy, yeah, like the bassy parts of the tapping. Yeah, that. Now, now I don't have to deal with that. Hooray. Augers. That's cool. Yeah. Pretty sick. Yup. Yeah. I can also see, which is nice, because I don't just have like this vertical line in front of my laptop screen. Oh, like, yeah, that's the worst. Just that arm mic like, covering part of the screen. So mm -hmm. then you gotta like move it around if you want to see what's down there and it's a pain in the butt and then So again yeah. my entire existence. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. How'd you know? Must be nice to have everything figured out. <laughs> I, mean, I it's the same thing here. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm having the same issue. Uh-huh. Right over there. Uh, yeah, I can see it. I can see exactly what you're talking about. Man. I can definitely see you pointing, yes. Yeah, yes, I, I feel right it. Right in this general direction over here where I am pointing. Mm -hmm. It's very frustrating, especially when I'm trying to look in the corner to see uh, my shit or something. I don't know. Or the game. There's a thing popping up in the game. I'm like, hey, I want to see that, but don't let me. Where was I going with this? I don't, I, I don't know. know, man. Yeah, you, kind of, you kind of just went off, and that was that was that. See, that's what happens. You need to stop me. Stop me from being dumb. But we get so mesmerized, we just want to hear you say it more. I don't yeah, want to hear yeah, you say it. Ranting. Um, man, you know how they call potato chips crisp in in other parts of the world? We're not going there again. No, I don't <laughs> get it. I don't get again? it. What? Wait, wait. What do you mean again? What? That that. That conversation is going to go as well as the emotes in other people's channels. <laughs> what? What? I, I don't mean, know. You told me to think of something. It's the first thing that came to mind, okay? Potato chips? Gamma, you have so much more substance than that. Yeah, but they're called... They're, fr they're french fries in England. <laughs> no, they're not. They're crisps in... No, they're think, called no, they're chips, chips in England. No, french fries are called chips in England. Yeah. But then ch chips are called crisps. But I don't get it because they're not always crispy. Sometimes people leave the bag open. They're 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 soft and they taste like stale and stuff. But are they what? Are they, are they are they called soggies? After a while, if you leave the bag open, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't call them soggies. Well, you don't want to eat something called a soggy or a moist. 
Oh, wait, mate, what? pass me that bag of soggy. <laughs> hey, <man. Yeah>. someone, <laughs> someone at some point told me about a friend they had that would purposely like open bags of chips yep. and just leave it that. open. I yeah. do that oh, with Cheetos. My friend only eats soggy chips or stale chips. Sorry, I'm crap, I'm saying soggy. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Yeah. He just likes the taste of sale chips. I mean, I guess. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, as somebody who does it for Cheetos, I will explain why. All right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So there's two types of Cheetos. I do it with both. There's the puffs and the and the regular ass Cheetos. Mm -hmm. Now, by themselves, they taste fine. I like Cheetos. I like cheese. I like puffs. I like Cheetos. <laughs> so. Uh -huh. So one day, I was like really young, and I bought my parents got some cheese puffs, and they mm -hmm. said, "Make sure you close the bag when you're done with it." So I ate a bunch of cheese cheese puffs, and then I forgot to close the bag, and then I went back like an hour or two later, and they were chewy, and it was fucking cool. That's why it's I like I like the chewy. It feels nice. I nice mean, I'll eat a stale chip, yes. but I mean, I'm not gonna go purposefully out of my way to try and make them stale. You know, I'd be fine if every chip was stale, as long as they gave us the whole bag full of chips instead of like three fourths chip, one fourth air. You know, I mean that's part of their spiel, though. Work. Yeah, but but more chip for your buck, or I'm sorry, more moist for your buck. Oh. <laughs> God, I don't like that. <laughs> you know what? I actually don't like it anymore either. I'm gonna stop. Yikes. Ugh. Um, oh, speaking of Cheetos, have you ever had the um the jalapeno Cheetos? No, who would have jalapeno Cheetos? Oh, I had that once. I don't do good with spicy stuff. My cousins tricked me into eating those because they put them in a regular Cheeto bag. They oh no! Like yeah, they look similar yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, it looks exactly the same to me, at least. Um, they have like little, like green things, I think, on the. Oh Cheeto, yeah, no kid, no but... kid's gonna fucking notice that. Yeah. Yeah, these are the same cousins that fed me fucking bubble soap. What the fuck? Oh. I did talk about that, right? Yeah. I think. I think. Yeah, they made me. They told me it was Sprite, and then I drank the bubble soap, and then I fell oh, off. Yeah. Wasn't that last podcast? Wasn't that just the last episode? It was either the last one or the one before that. Yeah, it might have been the last one. If I did say it, which I think I did. I don't know. But yeah, that's fucked up. That is she pretty fucked up. Yeah, yeah Cheetos, Cheetos are good. I like Cheetos. They're probably my favorite shit. Either, either were. I'm a Doritos boy. You're a Dorito boy? I'm a Doritos boy. Man. I am a I am a Dur I am a Dorito dust lover. Doritos are right. I, I, I like am, Doritos. I am for those barbecue lays. Oh, those are pretty good too. Fuck. Ah, uh, that one chips. BRB <laughs> going to Wawa. Gamma, you're, you're not Wawa. taking us into your car. To what? Go get chips. You you don't you don't miss the old oh it's one oh, in the morning let's go get some yeah. chip right yeah one in the morning it was two thirty in the morning most times I'm sorry you were still awake <laughs> I'm sorry and you I were wanted hungry chips. at two a.m. yeah I'm bad at eating when I should when you shouldn't shouldn't <laughs> no like I'm hung I'm hungry because I didn't eat the before that that's when I should eat. Yes, you should be eating food in general. I guess. I don't know why you just don't I, eat food. Am I the only one that forgets to eat sometimes? Yes! Oh, no, I do it. I, I do it. Eat. How do you forget and, to eat? And then I get home and I realize, hey, my blood sugar is low. I should probably eat something. Did I eat breakfast? No, I didn't eat breakfast. Oh, no, I didn't eat lunch either. Oh. For, for me, it's like a stress thing. Or if I just get really in the zone doing something and then I realize I haven't eaten that that I feel. I, I, that's mostly the case for me, I guess. And then I have to be reminded to eat. 
And it's not great. I'm told that if you don't eat, you gain weight. I don't I don't understand the whole thing behind that, but no, if you baby, don't eat, you gain weight? Like if you if you just don't eat, you gain weight is what I've been told. Because your body's um, like reacting is like, hey, I need to store this fucking fat right now because that shit's going to happen again. Well, it depends on what you eat, though, because, I mean, caloric restriction does help a smidge. It's it's mostly because it depends on what you don't eat. If you don't eat breakfast, your metabolism's slower, so when you do eat, you're not going to be breaking it down as much, so more gets stored. So, yes. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I never understood it, but I guess it makes sense. That's why you want to eat first thing in the morning. That is the most important meal of the day. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got you. There, there was days I used to, I was like, there's, I think I was like on a diet and what I would do is I would eat like mad large breakfasts in the morning, uh-huh. a little bit less for lunch and then almost nothing for dinner. And that super didn't work out. <laughs> but then again, I didn't, it did make me feel not as hungry for some reason. Like my brain was like, I'm not really hungry. I'll just have a small little thing for dinner. Like, I'm talking six egg omelets with mushrooms in them. Jeez. Bacon. Man, I'm hungry. You guys hungry? I mean, I am, but I'm going to wait till after the podcast to eat. I have food that I got earlier, and it's still sitting here, and I should finish it, but, you know. It's okay. We're here. We're all just chilling. Getting ready for... Gambit's earlier. You can't be tired. Come on. I'm not tired. I'm just... Uh-huh. I keep going back to things, and I just keep remembering random stupid shit, like fucking Pixel Perfect again is just popping into my head. Cause I don't know, I there's a lot of things on Disney Plus. There's been some good movies and things. Been meaning to watch some new series. Forgot that Doug was a Disney cartoon at some point. That sounds familiar, but I can't think of what you, that is. Do you not remember Doug? I feel no. like I will if you explain what okay, it is. Okay, okay, Doug. Here, I'll show. I'll, I'll actually show you a picture. Is uh, it like Doug, a three D animated thing? No, no, it's a it's oh, a regular, okay. it's a two D animation. It started out on Nickelodeon, uh, and then it ended up on Disney, which was really weird for somebody who liked the show. Um, you, yeah, you'll probably remember if you see the character. It's about this kid, and he moves to a new town, and he's got his neighbor, Mr. Dink. Oh, my God. I just realized it's coming full circle. Mr. Uh, Dink? Yeah, full Mr. Circle. Dink. Yeah, no, this is Doug. Oh, shoot. Yeah. He's got he's got his dog. I forget. The pork oh, chop, yeah. I think yeah. So it was, it was when, when it first came out, it was on Nickelodeon for like two seasons. And then for some fucking reason, it ended up on Disney Channel, which was really confusing to me as a kid, because I'm like, wait a minute, what? Has my life been a lie? (laughs) What channel is this? Where am I? Disney owns my favorite individual now. That reminds me of the Winx Club thing, where it was on four kids, and then it was on Nickelodeon. Oh, yeah. That was one. There were more shows like that, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of some. Um, where else? Freaking. Sorry, I'm looking up Doug now just because that, that was a good show. It was a, it was a fun cartoon about some kid that did nothing. <coughs> what time is. Do they not have the series? No, there's a series. Oh, damn. They even went like. They fucking. The logo. It's, it's the Doug logo because it's just some kid scribbling Doug. And then it's got Disney's Doug. Whoa, Disney's Doug. Whoa, Dig Doug. <laughs> dig Doug. <laughs> Dog Digger. God, they everybody the, the cool thing about it was that everybody was just like different. Like everybody looked different, everybody was different colors, everybody was like it was it was interesting. It was interesting all the characters and how they were portrayed and stuff. Um yeah, it was a good show. There's a lot of good kids shows. I don't know if you guys had any 
personal favorites back in the day when we weren't so old. Kids shows? Yeah, like when you were a kid, what shows would you watch on the televisions? For me, I think that the first three that come to mind at the moment are Wings Club and Witch because I used to watch those and then I had friends at school who used to watch those and you would bond over like watching them together. And then Pokemon was a huge one. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Um, I remember like every time a movie came out up until the Dark Rai movie, I was like, oh my god, I want to watch the premiere. Oh my god. And so uh, I, I did that. <laughs> I, I can um, understand. Mm-hmm. SpongeBob was a huge one too. Oh no, did you hear? Did you hear what they're doing? Uh what specifically? Uh did you hear that they're that Nickelodeon went and dug up Steven Hillenberg's grave just to fucking shit all over it? Excuse me, why? Uh okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give some context to this. Is uh not not thing? a couple weeks. Yep, it's exactly that. Ah oh, shit. He's he's had multiple like interviews back when he was alive. He's like, you know. I've had to stop Nickelodeon from doing spinoffs. It's not something I would want. I don't think the show should go this way. Mm -hmm. And then literally two weeks after he fucking passes away, Nickelodeon's like, hey, guess what? SpongeBob Kids! Oh, yeah. (laughs) Like, in the thing, he's specifically like, yeah, no, I don't don't think, you know, how they're doing the, like, the craze. At the time, there was, like, a craze where all the shows were doing, like, babies. Fucking Looney Tune babies. Pup names Scooby Doo, um, the Muppets babies. I don't know, fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh shoot, and there's like the Muppets Baby babies. Looney Tunes. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, like Dude. Baby Looney Tunes. That was that was. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I watched it because I, I like that one. I watched the one. <laughs> it was alright, but yeah. most of the time they're not that good, and they don't really have any substance. Mm-hmm. So he's like, no, I don't want that for SpongeBob because they specifically were like, hey, we should do this for SpongeBob, and he's like, no. So yeah, like two weeks after he passes away, Nickelodeon's like, hey, Spongebob kid, everybody's a kid, fucking Camp Camp Coral, Uh, this is what they're calling it. (laughs) And people are upset about that because a lot of people like Steven Hillenberg. He was a really good, he had a great idea for the show, so. Mm -hmm. But basically... There's that, and then there's the promo image that just came out the other day. Oh, like, really? I bringing seen it that. back into existence, like talking about it. I'll find it actually. Um, oh man, let me find it real quick. Uh, Camp Coral. I can't spell. Oh, that's because where's our heart? Where is it? There we go. Here we go. Got it. I'm gonna just drop this here. I'm gonna explain it to the the listeners. It is a picture of. SpongeBob, Patrick, Gary, Squidward, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, and Plankton as children together. Why does Mr. Krabs look buff? As I a don't child? know. Also, isn't he older than all of them? And why is Squidward yeah. wearing glasses? He wears contacts now. It's fine. Oh, um. <laughs> No, it's it, people are. I I also agree. Like, actually, if I show you this tweet, you'll see everybody just saying the same thing about. Uh, oh, hold on. Let me just. You know what? Here, I got a picture. It's just that picture. You know how when uh, Mr. Krabs is uh, digging up the grave for the the number one hat. Mm-hmm. Oh no, no, no. Am I really gonna defile this grave for money? And then, of course, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Nickelodeon <laughs> plastered all over Mr. Krabs. It's fucked oh, up. Oh, man. But yeah, so like, people are also upset uh, continuity wise. Oh, Which, yeah, first off, it's a cartoon. So I don't, that's not, that's not a big thing about cartoons, right? Like, yeah. At least with this kind of format of a cartoon. But SpongeBob and Patrick are probably the only characters that should be here together right it doesn't make any sense yeah, for any of exactly. the others to be there like wasn't there an episode of spongebob where they met sandy and everything yeah there was an episode where they met spongebob the first episode where spongebob met squidward 
and Mr. Krabs. He went looking for a job. He didn't know Mr. Krabs before that. Mm -hmm. And Gary, Gary, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Gary was supposed to be. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why is Sandy underwater and not in Texas? <laughs> right. Why is she not in dumb old Texas? I don't get it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I do like the uh, the art style and stuff, but it's it's just those facts that are kind of kind of fucked about the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of people are mad. I'm harsh. I I'm kind of. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm on that side. I'm on the side that's not really happy about it just because of the whole wishes thing, you know. Two weeks after, guess. I forgot. Is it a Netflix thing or is it a Nickelodeon thing? Uh, that's a good question. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's just a Nickelodeon thing, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Can't call. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really give any explanation. Let's see. What the heck? I don't know. I'm scrolling down a bunch of stuff and I really need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like, old cartoons are always fun. Like you said, Pokemon was a big one for me, too. Um, I think that's why we're all... One of the reasons we're all into Pokemon, I hope. <laughs> I think... I would, I would hope so. Because I watched I, the anime before I played the games. I wonder if that was the same way for me, too. I, 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 I can't remember. I really can't. I might have. Because I didn't get my own specific game until... Like, I think I've said this before. My first game was Gold. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get it until I got a used Game Boy SP, I think. So around the time the Game Boy SP came out is probably when I played for the first time, really, ish. Or maybe not. I don't know anymore. My mind's fucked. <laughs> I don't remember dates. Child brain. Yeah, man. Everything's so different when you're a kid, and then and then your brain's just like, nah, fam. It happened this way. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's weird. I don't know. I do remember seeing like all the promos and stuff for Wings Club and uh and uh I do remember seeing something about Witch. I never actually watched Witch. I watched a little bit of Wings Club just because it was uh on Kids WB and that was in thing. third grade I actually dressed up as Bloom for Halloween. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> that was third shit. grade. It might have been second grade. I forget, but yeah. Oh, that's some cool stuff, man. I had lame ass costumes every year. I think w the one cool costume I had was uh was a Power Ranger. Or no, it was Megazord. It was one of the Megazords. It looked like a bull. And I just went around saying, I'm a Megazord, and then I started punching the wall. And then my mom was like, stop punching the wall. Amazing. And then I stopped punching the wall. <laughs> oh man. Um oh, what were some other good old kid shows? So many. There's so many that I want to forget. <laughs> oh, no. Like, I'm not proud of it, but I think I watched a lot of Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> oh, I remember Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. I used to play one of those games. They had a game on the Disney Channel website. Oh, yeah. I forget what it was. Was it like a dress up thing? Or I don't remember what been. the game was. Now I I'm forget. remembering those Disney games on like the Flash games. There was the Lilo and Stitch. Uh, oh, the sandwich, sandwich stacker. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I played the fuck out of that. That was great. Oh, my God. There were so many sandwiches stacked. It was so good. Oh, my God. Yep, that classic. was great. Man, <laughs> Flash games were crazy back in the day. And then they... Something I noticed, like, later on before they killed them off, basically, was I remember, like, I think it was Nickelodeon and... Cartoon Network, they started making games specifically like to people who had a subscription to the website. And me, as a, a child who did not understand money or how to do money, oh yeah, couldn't play them. All I could I do was wish. Yeah, I never got to play those either. Yeah, my parents were really like, um, what's the term? Leery when it came to uh, online subscriptions. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think it took them. 
three years of me begging for a RuneScape membership mm -hmm. <laughs> to play RuneScape and get the membership. And then, like, a month later, I just stopped playing RuneScape. And that was just... Yep. That was... was a, I think it was, like, five ninety five well spent. <laughs> yeah, sometimes oh, I wonder how I even got to convince my dad to get me a Toontown subscription. <laughs> Dude, first I want it one so bad. Oh my god. Man. It, it was a fun game, yeah. Yeah, it I played the tr the demo, I think. My computer was really bad, so it was really laggy and stuff, and it took forever to load, but Oof. I wanted it. it. It looked fun. There's also private servers now. I'm sorry, what? There's Toontown private servers. I'm sorry, I couldn't... I are you saying that yeah, I'm downloading Toontown as we speak and I'm joining one of the private servers? Is that is you that can, what you're trying yeah. to say, Raz? If you want. Um, I'm not too familiar with all of them that exist at the moment, but I do know that uh -huh. there's Toontown Rewritten, which is if you want basically just like the the vanilla Toontown experience um, and like the way that the battle system works and progression works and everything. Uh -huh. And I know that there's Corporate Clash, which I played when I first came out, which has a completely different story. It has new areas. Um, there's more complex battle mechanics. Uh huh. So there's that. <laughs> if you think you might be interested in that, I remember when Corporate Clash came out. I used this. Uh, there's like a multi. There's like I forget what it's called exactly, but there's a thing you can use to have multiple instances of the game running at once. So I would sign, or no, no, not not. No, it would it was to have multiple. It was to be able to be able to control multiple instances of the game at once. So I would boot up a bunch of different windows of a bunch of different accounts, and I would just go into like an instance area, and I would just play through it by myself with all of my different accounts because I could. Mm -hmm. Because I was extra like that. <laughs> First off, damn, lucky you. you had a computer that could run that shit. Um, second <laughs> off, damn, you got to play Toon Town, you lucky motherfucker. Yeah. I, I, oh, man. I remember just, like, wanting to play it so bad. I played the demo, and I think it kicked me out, like, after an hour or something like that. And I'm just like, I never played it. Oh, no. Yeah, gamma, that, one day, we all gotta get together. Noob, you too. We got. Is he even here anymore? I don't know. I don't know. You're telling me there's this elaborate history behind Toontown. We, we gotta get I'm together. I'm just so baffled. We gotta get together and we gotta play Toontown together. And I'll All teach right. you guys everything. It'll be so fun. Noob, so if fun. you're down to play with us, don't say anything for the next two seconds. Alright, cool. He's in. <laughs> get ready for the Toontown stream, guys. Hey. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Ah, shoot. Okay, so let's see. What what other game, what other cartoons were there back in the day that were some, some fun shows? There was Fairly Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Jimmy Neutron was great. I wish it would come back. Not not <laughs> not as Planet Sheen. Dude, I I never watched Planet Sheen. I think I went to a friend's house and saw it on the TV once, and I was like, "How could you have a show that's just all Sheen? Like that's oh, too much. That's too much Sheen. He's too extra. <laughs> it's too much. Like, oh, I don't know. I'm just like, I wa I watched a couple episodes. It was alright. It wasn't good, but it wasn't like spitting in the face of Jimmy Neutron. Because mm -hmm. at least, I guess it had some kind of continuity to it. But still, mm -hmm. I don't know. Jimmy Neutron was good. What else was there? There was, uh... Oh yeah, I did say a pub named Scooby-Doo. I liked that, though. I, was a, I liked that show. I don't know yeah, why. I watched it occasionally, yeah. I, I distinctly remember uh, at my school, we would eat lunch in our, our classrooms. And there was always, there was a big ass CRT TV in the corner, like the top corner. Mm -hmm. And we'd always have the choice between uh, two channels our teacher would let us go on. One was Cartoon Network, 
And the second one was the channel that had Price is Right and Full House. Oh my goodness. Guess which channel got picked the most? Cartoon Network? You're wrong. It's the fucking Wheel of Fortune and Full House one. Every oh time Full God. House came on, the fucking, every, every, like, there, okay, three-fourths of the class would say, put on Full House. I like Full House. That's amazing. And every time that happened, I would get mad and sit in the corner and eat my sandwich. Oh. I had only a few times where we actually got to watch a pup named Scooby-Doo. Oh no. I was so upset every time we didn't. Like, I, almost to the point of welling up in tears because I was so upset. I was just oh. a dumb first grader. Oof. Oh, man. What else? Pub name Scooby-Doo. For me, I know that at some point I watched episodes of Digimon, but I oh. never watched enough Digimon to understand the overarching plot of it. You know what? I'm with you on that. That's the exact same situation. Like, I know I sat there and watched episodes and episodes of it, but I don't think I ever understood what was going on, and I'm pretty sure that I was always constantly flipping back and forth between... God, it was... One of the first three seasons, and then the... The the one where they turn into the Digimon that I can't Um, remember. Apparently that's the worst season. Yeah, like, I, I don't know, they they're, they're like, airing at the same time or something, and so I would get, like, in my brain, I was very confused as to what was happening, mm-hmm. and I was just like, I don't know what the plot is, are these even the same thing? I have no idea, and it was just a lot, so Dude. I never understood did you <laughs> You know what, you just made me realize, kids these days aren't gonna have to deal with going into a show, like, halfway through the series. Because I can just then, watch it from the beginning. Exactly. Whenever they're they not going to gonna know the struggle. Uh. <laughs> where did this character come from? Oh, no. Where, what, I guess they're not here anymore. <laughs> what? You suddenly go back 20 episodes. <laughs> Why is this character missing an arm? <laughs> He's got an arm in this episode. <laughs> Sorry, I was... <laughs> Oh like major fucking plot points like that just coming out of nowhere and then disappearing because you yeah. have no idea there's a continuity to everything mm-hmm. oh my god kids are lucky today fucking Netflix be a decent service where I can watch shows from the beginning honestly hate it. oh man they haven't announced brought to Netflix <laughs> stop me somebody <laughs> Like, I remember, um, so, like, I would try so hard to wake up on my Saturday mornings to watch four kids or whatever other, what else did I try to, like, wake up to watch in the morning? Maybe it was, was it, no, not Boomerang. There was some other channel that had. There was three. There was, yeah. Uh, there was another be... channel that was airing Pokemon specifically in the morning. And there, I can't okay. remember what it was. There was Kids WB, Fox Kids. Mm-hmm. Oh, what was the other one? Oh my god, I just remembered fucking uh, Cubics. Kids. What the fuck? Wait, what? <laughs> Cubics? Q- Cubics was the... Oh! <laughs> what air? Cubics! Oh my god, my brain. My brain. Okay, hold on. If I go to maybe the Wikipedia for Kids WB, will it tell me the competing oh, fucking dude. channels? Do you remember Gargoyles? I always heard about Gargoyles, but I never saw it. I watched it, and then I felt emotionally attached to the characters, I guess, sort of, but I never really, like, remembered anything about the show, except for there are these people who turn into Gargoyles. Oh my god, wait, you're right, Raz. It, okay, so it was 4Kids TV, Fox mm-hmm. Kids, and Kids WB, along Amazing. with... I think Jetix. Jetix was one of those pay channels, if I remember right. I don't know. I think was was Jetix a Disney thing or was it a separate thing? It was a Disney thing. Okay, I remember that specific because it had like Ying Yang Yo and shit. Oh my god, that was a thing. That was a thing. I didn't watch much of it, but I remember. Kyle Massey was a fucking rabbit. (laughs) Corey in the house was a rabbit. Ooh. 
Oh my god, I'm just I can't. Oh, there's a lot of weird shows. I was that had fucking Shaman King on it. What? It did. I'm I'm looking at the logo with fucking Shaman King just chilling out next to the fucking logo. Bruh. Oh my god. Oh, there's Puka too. Fucking Puka was weird. They For me, that's totally <gasps> They had Totally Spice. Totally Spice was on Jet X? I guess so. I guess it swapped between think... channels. That must have been one of the ones that swapped between channels because that, that, that actually seems familiar. But... Yeah, because I only remember it on, um, on Cartoon Network, I believe. Oh, I found a list for each of the channels. And then oh, I remember I, was... I used to watch Martin Mystery. That was made by the same people on... It was like Fork Nicktoons TV. Network? It's on 4Kids TV too, apparently. Oh my god! I, I, pull, I pulled up the pages and they actually have the shows that were on them. Oh, uh, four boy. Kids TV TV shows were Winx Club from mm-hmm. 2004 to 2007, Chaotic, Sonic X, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles... Viva Pinata had a series. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh yeah, I watched bits of it. Yeah, it wasn't that great. Yeah. Fucking Cubics, Stargate Infinity, The Bratz TV Show. Yes. Oh yes! my god. <laughs> yeah, dude. I only remember watching a few episodes of it on TV, but like oh I remember god. being so excited when I was able to catch those episodes. I was like, oh my god. Oh, uh, what a <laughs> circle. Okay, yeah, Yu Gi Oh was on there. Mm-hmm, Martin yeah, Mystery. Yeah. The fucking Cramp Twins. Why do I remember this show? What? Be- what? Okay, this show I remember specifically because it had the weirdest art style and character design. Let me just get, I- I- I'll get a picture real quick. Mm hmm. Um, here. Basically, it was a cartoon. That had a really weird art style, and it was about these two twins. One of them's just some regular smart fucking nerd, and then the other one's like a fucking evil uh, piece of shit who ruins everything for the smart kid. And then every time the show ends, it's like, oh hey, they learned something. Yeah, that was that was a show. I do not remember this. Sadly, you're, you're probably better off. <laughs> <laughs> it it wasn't that great, but I remember it because I would watch it all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah, what channel cool. did Sabrina the Teenage Witch oh, air on? Good, cool. I think that was I think that was WB. Uh wait, was was there a cartoon? You're, you're talking the no, cartoon, it was right? like a live action. Yeah, I remember the live action. Okay. Um let's see. I found uh, Fox I Kids. That was like that. Wait, quick. what? I'm gonna go down the list of Fox Kids shows real quick. Oh boy! First one is actually a really good one. Uh, Animaniacs. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was a good show. Fucking Bobby's World. Never heard of that. Mm-hmm. X Men, the the original uh, mm-hmm. cartoon. I think. Yeah, is that the original cartoon? I don't know. It's gotta be. I don't know. Whatever. Eat the cat. Spider Man. Goosebumps, Batman, Power Rangers, I hate this, Angela Anaconda, uh, <laughs> uh, Tiny Toon Adventures, what the fuck is Big Bad Beetleborgs? Oh, Beetleborgs! I, I don't even know what Beetleborgs is, but Tim sent me like... The intro or something once, and I watched it on stream, and I was so confused the entire time. It's so weird. I don't. I'm, I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm pretty sure he explained it to me, but it like went in one ear and out the other, and I have no <laughs> idea. I'm sorry. I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. Uh, let's see. A lot. Of, a lot of Power Rangers. The tick. Oh, yeah. Where on earth is Carmen San Diego? Shit, I forgot that was a thing. Beetlejuice. Two stupid dogs. The Magic School Bus. Oh, yeah. I like that show. 
I, didn't they bring the magic school bus back? They did, yeah. Wasn't it like a Netflix thing? Yeah, they did! And I remember specifically because they changed out Miss Frizzle for her sister. Yeah, and everyone was pissed because all the kids looked the same. That's fine. That's f- They <laughs> should, because, I mean, that's kind of how it works. I guess. I don't know. Kids are weird. But I remember because <laughs> one of my favorite uh, comedians is actually the voice of uh, her sister. So I was like, oh, oh shoot. Okay. Yeah, fucking, uh, it was, I'm pretty sure it was Kate McKinnon. She's on, she's on Saturday Night Live. I watch that once in a while. Oh, um, nice. What else? Tom and Jerry kids. Fucking. It's the return Tiny of the, 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 the kids shows that are. Full circle. <laughs> Full fucking circle. Oh, boy. Uh, Young Hercules. What the fuck? Young oh, Hercules? That, that lasted an, a year. I can't imagine why. I think it's based off the live action Hercules series. Ooh, wait, that, oh, was that was a thing? Oh, yeah, that was a thing. It Ooh. actually had some. Hold on, hold on. Let me... I remember because I watched like one episode as a kid and my parents were like, no, stop that. <laughs> oh. It's not, it's not for kids. Hercules live action. No, not the rumor. No, a live action TV show. Because, okay. Hercules of the Legendary Journeys. There is one big reason why I remember this. Hmm. Uh, I went to Universal Studios in Florida. Mm -hmm. And they had like an experience where, you know how they have those 4D like shows that they, you know, interact with the audience and stuff happens. You have to like, sp- like put on seatbelts and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They had that with this, but it wasn't exactly like that. It was mostly like things flying out of the screen and then they showed up and they started fighting like demons and shit. That's a it lot. Was, it was pretty cool, but I just remember that. And I think, I think it was like maybe a crossover with the uh, Xena warrior princess or some shit like that. But that was that was the thing that happened, and that's that's all I see for Fox Kids. So let's let's see what what, what was the kids kids WB. Let's hit that while we're at it. Might as well. Where'd it go? No. What the heck? Oh no, I can't find it. I've lost my mind. There it is. Oh no. Oh okay. All right. <gasps> oh yeah, now I remember. Kids WB was the best one because it had all the good shows. It had Mocha Lucha, Animaniacs, mm-hmm. Jackie Chan Adventures. Fuck yes! Fucking the best cartoon back that was then. So good. And then Shaolin Showdown, which was really oh fucking good. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I, oh my god! Th- those two were right, like so good. I'm coming right out the gate with all the hard hitters, by the way. <laughs> Fucking Static Shock. Bruh! Um, Pinky in the Brain. Mm-hmm. Teen Titans was on there at some point. Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, apparently. I guess... Oh, you know what? This might be in different countries and stuff, too. Like, different countries had different... Uh, oh, possibly. Delios. Yeah. Ozzy and... I forgot they made an... Uh, the spinoff of fucking Osmosis Jones. Yeah, Ozzy and Drix. Yeah, I remember. I used to couldn't... watch the shit out of that show. I saw the show before I saw the movie. I remember it being really weird because they couldn't afford to get. I think, was it Chris Rock that did Ozzy? Who, who voiced Ozzy? Shit. I have or no not. idea. <sighs> Hold on. I need to figure this. I'm pretty sure it was Chris Rock. Who voiced Osmosis Jones? It doesn't tell me. Where, why Why you gotta do this to me? No, it was Chris Rock. Yeah, okay. I'm not crazy. Alright, let's 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 see what else there was. X-Men Evolutions. That's actually the one X-Men-like series that I watched. I, mm-hmm. I never really got into the others. But, uh, yeah. That was, that was a show. Oh my god. Hmm. Why do I vaguely remember this fucking show? Which one? Lunatics Unleashed. That sounds familiar. It is Looney Tunes, but edgy, and they're a superhero team. 
they take all of the Looney Tunes and just this this fucking show oh existed. I can't hold on. Is there a better picture I can? I can it's literally just what the fuck. Yeah, it was Bugs Bunny, fucking the Coyote, Lola Bunny, Daffy Duck, fucking Marvin the Martian was in it, and he didn't change at all, but everybody else did. <laughs> yeah, no, it was super like serious oh and everything. What is this? Oh what my god! What is Tweety doing in the corner? What the heck? He's doing things, being Tweety. Tweety. Oh wow! Oh wow! I think I, I think I found a bigger image. Oh boy! It's the exact same image. I just didn't copy it right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Now I can see. He's pointing into the space. Oh, I can see he's pointing now. Sylvester is the villain, and yeah. he is a space samurai. What's with all these like? These weapons are so. What is going on? I don't know, and I don't think we should look further into this, because I'll get lost in the sauce. I'm so confused by all of this. You should be. What's new Scooby-Doo was another one. Johnny Test, I remember. It was was an okay Mm -hmm. show. People don't like it for some reason. I watched it a lot growing up, honestly. Yeah, it was cool. And then, oh man, I remember this show being really dumb. Hmm? Crypto the Super Dog. Oh, I watched some Crypto. And I think there was like a game that was on. Because it moved to Cartoon Network at some point, right? Yeah, I remember. I think so. They had a game and I think I played it. Oh, man. Fucking Batman Beyond was really fucking good. Uh, Kids Next Door was on there too? What? Really? That's crazy. Um, What else? Tiny Toons Adventures again. Uh, baby Looney Tunes. There we go. For a uh, second, I thought you were going to say Baby Shark. And I was like, no. Yes, the newest cartoon on Kids WB, Baby Shark. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Baby Looney Tunes. The new Batman Adventures. Duck Dodge. Damn, Duck Dodgers was a show. At some point. It was weird. Was that the one with Daffy in space? Yeah, it was Daffy and Porky and they were they were space adventure captain people. And they wore weird costumes. And it was really serious for a cartoon <laughs> at points. <laughs> um oh, Men in Black had a series. I forgot about that. They did? Yep. They did. It huh. uh, uh uh, yeah, yeah. No, it was uh, it was just a cartoon. And now I know. I keep going down this list, and it's getting progressively worse, like animation wise, at least. Oh no! I mean, I'm looking at like this these shows: Max Steel, Eon Kid. They're just really bad CG. I have no idea what these are. Don't worry, I'm. I don't know other than that. Fucking what the fuck? Generation O. What is wrong with these people's mouths? <laughs> what the? Their mouths take up like three fourths of their body. It's just normal. Like they're just yeah. smiling normal, apparently. What the that, fuck? That sounds terrifying. It is. Chalk Zone was one of the shows. Oh, I remember Chalk Zone. I love Chalk Zone. That was a good show. I guess it's swapped between. Nickelodeon in there. Okay, here's the last one. Oh, Spider Riders. I. Why does that sound familiar? Oh. Did, did they literally ride spiders? It looks like mechanical spiders. Like mech spiders. Nice. The last one, I actually do remember the show a bit. It was pretty good. Uh, Atomic Betty. That was a it was a little cartoon about a girl who's a space cadet and she does space stuff. It was interesting. It sounds familiar. Yeah, there's so many shows. Uh, Noob, how about you? You remember any of these shows? Some of them ring a bell. 
Yeah. Like Osmosis Jones and stuff like that. But I don't know. I watched a lot of shows as a kid. There's a lot of shows just chilling around. Like Raz was saying with the three different like channels that had them on in the, on Saturday mornings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I watched I watched Teletoon with YTV and um uh, I think those are the main two. Probably TVO came at some point as well. I don't know. <laughs> Probably. That that's also when uh, the Family Channel was starting to get some shows that were good. So yeah, it was all different just... for us, I think, because I think Canada and America had like different like channels that they would show stuff. So yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. certain channels were probably the same thing, just branded differently. So we probably saw a lot of the same shows. Yeah, for the most part. It's also interesting going to different countries and flipping on a channel that sounds familiar to you, and you're like, wait, I don't have this channel back at home. What is this? Not this channel, Dude. this show back at home. I remember like, my first time going out of state and turning mm-hmm. the channel on. Try, I'm, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put on Cartoon Network. So I mm-hmm. go to channel 63, and it's the news. <laughs> And then my mind, I just start panicking because I'm like, oh my god, they don't have Cartoon Network. Where's Car- what happened to Cartoon <laughs> Network? Did the Cartoon Network close down? Is it gone? I just had this existential crisis and my parents are like, some different channel, dum-dum. I'm like, oh. Yikes. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, that, was a, that was a big old culture shock. Mm-hmm. I remember it was one of my visits to the Philippines. Mm-hmm. When I flipped on Cartoon Network and I saw the My Melody anime dubbed in English. Because, um, like, you know, the Sanrio character, My Melody? Hold on, I need to. A... I've never actually heard of this anime. Oh, okay. But yet, My Melody has an anime and it's fucking weird and Kurumi's in it too. Um,. So that was a thing, and I was like, I need this back home, and I was really sad that I couldn't watch it back home, so I went on YouTube and uh, <laughs> watched it, because that's what you did back in the early 2000s. Um, and then there was th- that really uh, well-known basketball anime that I cannot remember oh, the name of. Oh, Basque? I think, yeah. Like, that yeah. aired on there, too. Or at least another channel I saw there. And I was like, oh my god! These things that are airy that I don't get to see at home! How long ago was that? It was kind of crazy. Huh? How long ago was that? This was like early 2010s or like late 2000s, I forget. You probably wrote that. I I don't remember how old Kirk and Obesco is. Mm. But this was also like the dubbed versions of the stuff. Okay. So it was like, god damn. Well, shit. Yep. It was a time. Also on that trip, I think I uh, accidentally watched a Final Destination movie and was paranoid for oh, the shit. next three months. Uh, I remember seeing the trailer, one of them, where it's just like some dude gets just demolished by a fucking tire. And I was so Dude. paranoid throughout the whole like movie I was watching that I, I kept like looking over my shoulder for a fucking tire. I was like, I was like ten, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm gonna get, ro- I'm gonna get the fucking demolished by a tire out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh Dude. my god. Final Destination really makes you paranoid because yeah, because cool. it's, it's the whole premise of it is here's all this random like uh tragic accident shit that can somehow possibly happen maybe yeah you just turn the corner and a fucking bus explodes on you you know yeah it's totally a lot you know reasonable definitely normal buses exist buses exist oh my god okay um Oh my god, my brain ain't doing math good. 
Math is hard. Yes. Oh. So we had those three stories. I don't want to have to do the Jesus is my homeboy. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather save that for an episode where we really need it. Mm-hmm. It's very short. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What have you guys been up to? What have you been doing? How's your week been? Um, School has been a thing. It's oh, yeah. been a struggle trying to find the motivation to work, though. Mm-hmm. It's just really bad because I'm at home and usually home is like vacation place, but it's not right now. And then it's like, uh, it's it's weird having to always deal with noise around the house and the fact that I'm not cooking for myself. It it feels weird. I don't know. It's just a lot. <laughs> There's a lot I happening. That. that makes sense. It, it's hard. It's hard to focus. Back when I was like still in school, it would be hard because like all the people around me making noise and distracting me, trying to do my homework and stuff. So I, I, can, I can feel you on that. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a frustrating situation. Oh. <sighs> But yeah, the world's crazy. Everything sucks. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Nope. I miss him. I do too. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll just have to chill and just. Oh, yeah, I forgot Disney had regular cartoons, too. <laughs> just regular-ass Disney cartoons. <laughs> I'm scrolling down Facebook and just pops up in my fucking face. The uh, I forgot Tarzan had a cartoon. Oh, oh cool. my god, I used to watch that. I don't remember cool. anything that happened in it, but... Oh, yeah, it was good, but yeah. I don't, I don't remember a goddamn thing that happened. <laughs> just that yeah. it was alright. It was a good show. It's all- yeah. Man, that Disney Plus thing, like, I have so many Disney cartoons that I can watch that I super forgot about. It's just, it's crazy. I, there's yeah. one show, they're actually giving, like, old shows, like, continuations. I'm sure you heard about the Lizzie McGuire continuation. I did not. Yeah, it's a thing that's supposed to happen, but then something happened where I think, like, uh, Hillary Duff was like, hey... I want to tackle this one topic, and Disney's like, no. So I think it's technically in development hell right now. Oh, no. I wanted to put that thing in, and she's very adamant about it. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. At least that's what I've heard, because I've been waiting for like a year at this point. And then another one, another one that popped up is probably one of my favorite uh, Disney Channel cartoons. Have you ever heard of The Proud Family? Yes, I did. I, I yeah. watched that a lot as a I child. I love yeah. that show. And I watched I the movie, why. too. Yeah, oh my god. That movie, the one thing that, every time I think of the movie, the first thing that pops into my mind is that fucking dance battle they have with the fucking peanut dudes. All I the can think of movies. is peanuts. I don't remember the... I, it's, it's like, slowly coming back to me. I feel like... Yeah, okay, yeah, so just like imagine... Coming back to me. The, the 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 proud family gang, the, the, the four girls that always hang out together are on mm-hmm. this island and fucking they're they're trying to find Penny's family. Oh they have to do the dance battle with the Yeah, guy. and then these peanuts show up in fucking hip hop attire and mm-hmm. then they just start blasting some, some banger music and they just start fucking dancing and then the peanuts are like dancing back and then and then Zoe just like fucking demolishes them with her dance moves. Because she puts her hat on sideways, and that's really gangster. Mm-hmm. So then they win the battle, and that's all I remember from the fucking movie. Just put your hat sideways, kids. It'll, make yeah, you, it, it'll boost your cool level and make you be able to do anything. Yeah, you'll be able to dance better. Like, why do you think level. Ash always uh, moves his hat backwards when he gets serious? Yeah, exactly. It boosted his stats. So that exactly. he can do things better. Let's see, we yep. got cartoons. Kim Possible was a good one. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know what? 
at first I didn't like the show, but Phineas and Ferb grew on me. I don't oh, know for why. Sure. I didn't Phineas like and Ferb. It. Yeah. I looked at it and I saw a platypus and I'm like, what the fuck is that thing? It's stupid. And then I proceeded <laughs> not to watch it for like three years and then I watched it and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I feel like that was everyone's <laughs> first impression of Perry is what the fuck is this thing? It's stupid. <laughs> well, it's just stupid fucking thing. His eyes are going in three different directions. <laughs> three? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one pupil just kind of like splits into two. <laughs> <Just not really. laughs> um, no. Oh, God. Recess was a good one. Freaking. Oh, sure, yeah. This one's more recent. Fucking Star vs. the Force of Evil was really good. That and, I've only uh, watched yeah. videos talk of people talking about it. I haven't seen it myself. It's pretty good. It's a good uh, cartoon. At least, I think I, I think it is. I feel it is. Okay, mm. and, um, yeah, there was Recess. There was... Uh, what else? Now I'm just scrolling down a list again. This is what I do. This is how I, this is how I think of ideas. It was the Kim Possible. Oh, yeah. cartoons. Kim Possible had a movie. That was that was the thing. The, the live movie, action right? one that came out a couple years ago. I forgot about that. I meant the cartoon movie. Damn. Oh yeah, there's a live action one, and a lot of people um, thought it was bad. Oh no, I don't want to watch it. I haven't I seen it, it, but bad. you know. Man, that's so Raven was a good show. That's not a cartoon. I'm just kind of pointing that out. That film was a good too. show. Yes. Fucking... Even Stevens. Why? Why do I remember liking that, but not remember a damn thing about the fucking show? Like, I feel what? like I started watching Disney Channel on the tail end of Even Stevens and never oh, actually man. got to watching it. You know what? You're probably right. It, it, it did kind of end early, if I remember right. Oh, man, there's so much stuff. So many shows. Back in the day, they wanted to fucking put a sequel on every movie they made. They did it with Hercules. Mm -hmm. They did it with uh, Emper Emperor's New Groove. I forgot they fucking made uh, Emperor's a New School that. was a thing, yeah. Yeah. You gotta go to school, otherwise you can't be the emperor of this ancient fucking Mayan society. Yep. I remember watching that. Um, I it made no sense. What, what it was, was like point? it was like a routine for me to watch that whenever it came on. I think it came on yeah. like pretty late in the day too. Yeah, you know, I think relatively. Right. It, was, it was definitely afternoon territory, if not late afternoon. Mm hmm. Oh shit! I remember the show. I don't know why. I remember it being bad. The replacements. You ever hear that show? Oh yeah, yeah. where they yeah, literally they just call people the fucking agency to replace random people in their life, yeah. and then they learn that these random people that they've called in to replace these actual professionals like can't mm -hmm. do anything to help them, and it's just worse. Like I literally pulled up the first episode because I'm like, I remember the show was about some. Some kids who didn't have parents, and then they're like, "Hey, give us parents," and they gave him parents. Yep. And then they're like, "We want a super spy mom and a daredevil dad." Just fix it with duct tape. Yep. Just <laughs> duct tape that motherfucker up and don't look back. Yep. Oh, I don't see it on here, but I remember uh, Disney had this whole thing. They had a House of Mouse show where they kind of like brought all the old disney like shorts and stuff together oh that was kind was it the one that was kind of like a like a stand-up comedy type of kind it had okay it was Dang. that club they had a club with all these tables I, yeah yeah yeah, then, yeah 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 and then mickey mouse would come out and he'd be like hey guys remember this thing and then yeah, you'd see all the random characters from all the random disney shows and exactly and stuff, yeah yeah, and there were skits and things. I remember that. Yeah, it had a bunch of skits and like snips from different old uh, dealios. That old was videos. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What else? Okay, I just remembered one. Hannah Montana. Uh, what's wrong with me? Hannah <laughs> Montana is an animated not. <laughs> it's an animated cartoon <laughs> with real people. <laughs> That yep. was that fucking Wizards of Wave. Oh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. 
Mm-hmm. There was oh, Sweet Life on deck. Yup. Nothing happened after the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. <laughs> not, <laughs> totally. Especially not anything involving a boat. <laughs> there totally wasn't a boat. I'm not gonna lie, I super tuned out after they got on the boat. Oh, uh, I still watched it a lot. I liked the show, but then, like, the mom was gone, I think, or something like that. Yeah. Somebody left. I forget who. Like, a lot, a couple yeah, people Yeah, Ashley left, Tisdale like, wasn't there anymore. Oh, they got rid of and Arwen. Then... That's what it was. What? That's what puts me off. Arwen wasn't there, wasn't he? No. Uh, Arwen or Esteban? There's Esteban, then there was... There was the mechanic janitor. Yeah, dude? Arwen. Yeah. So yeah, neither of them were there. Yeah, uh, Maddie wasn't there. The mom wasn't there. Maddie. Oh, Ashley Tizzle, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. That they they got rid of almost everybody that mattered. Oh. That that that's kill. Yeah, that's whatever. It, it's not. I'm sure it's not bad. My my young self just didn't give it a chance because he was upset. That's all. That was me with uh, unrelated Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. <laughs> you know what? It's not unrelated. <laughs> I, I, as a small child, was so pissed. Because I was like, I want the original characters back. Who's this Jaden Yu-Gi motherfucker? <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm not going to lie. That's exactly why I didn't watch it. <laughs> I was like, this this, this, this. Dude's fucking last name is Yugi. Fucking trying to take the spotlight spotlight away from our original boy. Where's Joey? <laughs> this f- dumb motherfucker don't have stupid faces like Joey had. He don't got a New York accent. He don't. He's just dumb. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I also remembered that I never watched Bakugan because in my judgmental child brain, I was like, they literally shoved Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon together and called it a new game. Yeah. Oh, don't forget Beyblade. Beyblade's in there, too. Fuck, I remember Beyblade. I don't remember they, the plot of Beyblade, but I, the auto was they cool. Had, oh my god. I The only thing I remember is they had fucking spinning tops and they're like, hey... Spinning top, go battle this other spinning top. I thought they were cool because they had like animals in them, right? Like spirits, yeah, in them animal and spirits and they that like would fight each fought. other, yeah. And then you would go to the store and buy a Beyblade because we <laughs> thought that's how it worked. And then you tried to put the Beyblade together for like three hours, and then your <laughs> dumb kid brain was so tired and didn't want to do it that you're like, Hey, mom, can you put this together? And then she puts it together, and then you put the thing in the, the spinny boy, and then you rip, you let it rip, and then there's no fucking tiger spirit that flies out of it, and then you just get really depressed. Oh, yeah. And then you throw away the Beyblade. Because, like, they also act sentient, too. They're literally, like, fighting oh, yeah. each other. And that and doesn't happen around. in real life, because, yeah. you know. Have you ever seen an actual there. Beyblade fucking fight? It's depressing. <laughs> You just kind of fire them in the same direction and they fall over. You lit- No, no. What happens is you literally you take the Beyblade, the, the spinning uh-huh. boy, you uh-huh. put the thing inside, and uh-huh. then the other person does that too. You put it on top of a little bowl, and then mm-hmm. you rip it, and then whoever's Beyblade stops spinning first wins. I mean, that's literally that's literally you spinning a spinning top, except for started, it's it it's so much more elaborate. That's exactly what it is. I mean, they tried. They tried to like differentiate it by like having some be metal and some of them be heavier and whatnot. I guess they tried to make it like that some of them were better. But I, whoa, physics! Man, metal metals harder than plastic. That's why the Beyblade bay exploded. I don't believe you. I don't. That my Beyblade. Had a tiger spirit in it. Yours had a fucking potato. Potato. <laughs> it's you know this doesn't this doesn't seem right. I'm calling the baby 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 baby
just he just fucking stuck a spud right on the fucking spinny thing and just let it rip. I don't know oh. if potatoes spin that well. I'm sure they tried. <laughs> I'm you know what? I'm gonna see if I can find a potato Beyblade. Like someone's carved a Beyblade out of a potato? Yes. Oh jeez. I actually there was a Game Boy game. Uh, that I had those. It was the Beyblade Game Boy game. Oh my god! <laughs> it exists, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, maybe, possibly. <laughs> oh, oh my god! There's a video of this like seven year old kid, who who has a potato, and it has a Beyblade spinning, and he just throws the fucking Beyblade at the at uh, the potato at the Beyblade. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's what the amazing. Fuck? <laughs> Why am I watching? Look at the fuck. <laughs> he put a smiley face on the potato. Why is there a smiley face on it? Why is that smiley face way cooler looking or better looking than anything I could draw on a potato? Oh damn, he's like general. multiple Beyblades. Oh my god, he just, he keeps throwing out Beyblades and then spinning the potato, and I can't stop watching this. Why am I, what the fuck? This oh kid's parents. I think they're recording they're this. Filming. Yes, they let their <laughs> child do this. What kind of potato is this? This is, it's a weird potato. It's like red and white. What the fuck? Oh my god, that Beyblade fucking exploded! <laughs> that fucking potato just dumb demolished that fucking Beyblade. Oh my god, what the fuck? Man, there's actually like still tournaments for Beyblades and stuff too. Like they're there's they're far and few between, but I don't know if it's like sad or cool. I don't know how to feel about it. I mean if people find it fun, then people find it fun. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna knock people's enjoyment of anything. Like, if as long as you're not hurting somebody and you're having fun with it, go, go ahead, have fun. Mm -hmm. Personally, you know what, I'm gonna see how much are Beyblades nowadays. I mean, it's still ongoing. It's an ongoing series, yeah. so... Oh my god, what the hell? What does this new guy look like? Is that a fucking Voltron Beyblade? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, they're so expensive. What the fuck? It's thirty dollars for a fucking Beyblade. Dang. Yeah. Oh wait, never mind. Here's one that's uh it's a dome and two Beyblades for thirty-five bucks. Okay, that could be worse. You know what? What the hell? I don't know. I've I've been Absorbed by the Beyblades and potatoes. We have gone down another nostalgia rabbit hole. I, I don't how long know have where we to been go going? I almost two hours. Almost. I, I almost think this. It. Oh my god! I can't. I can't. I think this would be a good place to stop. Probably. Possibly. Would be before I go down another thing where I start buying Baku guns off Amazon. That's oh my goodness. Right oh Baku no, gun. don't do it. Gambit, don't Baku do it. guns. No. I could spend $25 on a fucking Baku gun, Raz. <laughs> no. Give me seven reasons why I shouldn't, and then maybe I won't. Uh, but I'm one, still going to do it. Money. Two, because money. Three, because are you going to actually use the Bakugan? Well, fuck no, I'm not. <laughs> exactly. Actually, okay, so here's the thing. They actually, um, I actually know something about Bakugan. Mm -hmm. Only because I have a friend who, uh, actually did a video on Bakugan. And it got a lot of, like, attention and fucking, uh, the company actually invited him and a bunch of other YouTubers out to check out the new product and the new series and stuff. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, it was really cool. So it was, it was nice seeing that. And they actually had like, I think they they overhauled the whole system in which you played the game. So now it's less just like roly poly and more 
hey, I need to be strategic in what I put in my deck and stuff, because there's decks of, like, little hexagons and things that provide, like, certain buffs or certain effects or whatever. Mm hmm So, I'm not gonna knock Bakugan. But also, just, just imagine, just throwing, just throwing the little rolly balls. And then they get the magnet, and then bam, it's, it's, a, it's a creature! Wasn't a problem with them that they like some of them wouldn't open. Sometimes. Oh, that's still a problem. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no. yeah, no, like part of it opens up, and then sometimes it just rolls off the fucking table and breaks it even more. Oh no! Yep, that's twenty five dollars well spent. Oh, that's not great. Oh man, I remember I got fucking Bakugan for Christmas one year, and I'm like, "Wow, thanks, Santa Claus. I definitely wanted a Bakugan." Mm -hmm. Yep, mm hmm. Because I watched the show back then for sure. I don't know. It's cool stuff. I don't know. I, mean, I tried playing. I did tell the Yu Gi Oh story, right? Where I got demolished. Just fucking annihilated by some dude who. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a fun time. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me think of Yu Gi Oh, but it do. I wonder if. How is Yu-Gi-Oh doing nowadays? What what series are they on at this point? Uh, they're they're still going. They had a a main character and then they aged him down. Um, and I, uh, that's the last I know. The last Yu-Gi-Oh series I remember still... was Brains, I think. Mm -hmm. They had a series that aired like at the beginning of April this year. I'm pretty sure. Oh, um, was that was that brains? No, it can't be brains. No, I, I don't think so. There? I okay. I remember this one. I remember brains, and I remember Arc V because I'm like, this is back when I wanted to get back into Yu Gi Oh, and that's when Dual Network was still a thing. Sadly, it isn't anymore. Um, to Wikipedia. Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. Alright, oh. anime. Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Sixth spinoff of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, following brains. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. For a second, I got excited because I thought I saw the first character say it was Yugi Moto. Instead Oof. of Yuga Odo. It's close. Uh, it's close. Uh, not it's enough. <laughs> not, no, it's not not enough. <laughs> Hold on, can I can I like find this on Verve? Yu-Gi-Oh! Seven. Seven. Fuck. Can't type. There's a lot of animes with the word seven in it, now I realized. Yeah. That's a lot. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a popular number. Yep. Also, noob, are you dying? He's dead. Uh, yeah. He left us, Rez. Where? He left. And he's never coming back. Oof. And I'm he, still on this Yu-Gi-Oh! train. He probably, like, hard fell asleep in his chair. And oh now my god, did he? Noob! <laughs> I messaged him uh like about 30 minutes ago at this point and he was like I'm super passing out. So I think he's just uh Oh no. Is this the he, first episode where he passes out in his chair? I think so, yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh man, noob, I'm sorry, bud. Oh. I ranted him into sleep. Oh no. <laughs> I've just I've just demolished this whole podcast. Come on, just kick me out, guys. It's time. No, no. It's time. We can't I've... do it without you. Yes, you can. No. Fine. I take. No, no, no. I went down a rabbit hole, Don't which led to another rabbit hole, and it's now I'm on the other fault. side of the earth. No. <laughs> and everything's come to a head. No. All right, it's fine. It's fine. We can end the podcast. I got this. Uh -huh. And that's been the podcast, everybody. This is Pro Pokey Noob. Uh, you can follow me over at twitch.tv slash Pro Noob, twitter.com slash Pro Noob. 
Uh, I for thousands of hours of content, check out my Twitch channel. Um, I stream. I have a scheduled check out Discord slash Pro Pokey Noob. Um, Fiverr slash Pro Pokey Noob. Um, he, he has an Instagram too. At Instagram slash Pro Pokey Noob. Uh, <laughs> check out the Pro Gamer Razcast. I'm part of that. Um, that's literally what's happening. Oh. Right uh, um, but yeah, if you want, if you want some quality top content, go on over to the Twitch. He's uh, doing tournaments and stuff at some point. Animal Crossing. Yes. Smash Brothers, Pokemon, you name it, over at twitch.tv slash the pro Poke noob. I heard over on the URAS for a second. <laughs> Oh you raspberry lips. What what is this what is the, what is this weatherman <laughs> I know, it's my really bad noob impressions. He's not asleep. He, he was just here. It's like he never left. It's like he never left. He's gonna <laughs> Discord can to come away from us. <laughs> Discord can <die. laughs> He's gonna listen. He's gonna listen to this entire thing later and be oh like, "What God. happened while I was asleep?" Raz, please, we need to burn this 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 episode. Let's go. All right, well, I'm Raspberry Blitz. Uh, find me at, on Twitch at twitchtv blitz. Um, I will hopefully stream sometime before the end of the month. Probably finally starting my Animal Crossing renovations because it's bothering me that I haven't started them yet. Um, and then you can follow me on Twitter for uh, stream updates. And I'm trying to post random content. It's not going well so far, but I'm doing my best. Uh, you got this. Twitter.com slash Raspberry Blitz. Thank you very much, Gamma. And now to you. And now with the news, this is Zam Gamay on the Twitch and Twitter. Go nuts. It's Zam Gamma. Easy. Nice. This, this has been the Pro Raz New, new Podcast. Wait, where's uh, your name? I don't know. <laughs> I'm tired now, too. <laughs> oh, yikes. It's contagious. Um, but for all everybody, thanks for listening. I appreciate we all, we all appreciate you guys listening to every one of the podcast episodes. We, I, we, so, you know, thank you for that. listening to our train wreck. Yeah, this is this is. I think this is probably the most on fire episode. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's not it. fire. It's I've, on fire. <laughs> it's yep. <laughs> I ba I I blame I blame the Beyblades. <laughs> Fucking potatoes. <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys for listening to the podcast. We'll see you next week. Hopefully Noob won't still be asleep. Hopefully, yeah. Bye-bye. Otherwise you get another weather introduction from me. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh. <laughs> Craig's still here. Leave! Get out of here, Craig! <laughs> Nobody wants you! <laughs>